Welcome back gamers. Lazy gamer here logging back in for yet another very exciting episode of Resident Evil 4 where we play with Ashley. And believe it or not actually quite fun. Ashley has no weapons, no offensive capabilities. Oh, she can throw lanterns at plagas, which she does, but this is a truly survival inspired part of the game. The first games were survival horrors. This is leaning towards more of an action oriented game. But this is pure survival horror at it's best. Chasing me in here. Can crawl through there. It. Can do it again, and then it might sit it. I don't think any enemies of Ashley will drop anything, even so. Now See that crank over there? It will crank this up. But in this room, I really don't need it. I can just crawl under here and under here. And voila! I'm in the next room, and if I should feel threatened at any point and remember too I can crawl under there and be safe because as you might have noticed the plagas are not the most intelligent of beasts I was thinking um, I was going to out with out with him but I might as well just try and burn this plagas out too. <laughs> yeah you can laugh idiot I could crack this up, fool him into the other room, run through that opening and pull this lever and trap in in the other room, there are plenty of ways to outwit the plagas to not be in my way. I chose now to use the violent option. Just for amusement's sake. I could have trapped it in the other room, but opening it might also let the other plaga in into this room. So it's it's a matter of preference, really. Okay. 
so this I do need to crank, so here we go. First one. The vertical and the horizontal. With more enemies on the other side. I should think. No. Seems to be more of a safe room. Isn't she cute? Damn. Well, <laughs> enough about that. Um, I'll, I'll show you so you know why I'm doing it. There is a room, obviously. And what is it with present evil and rooms with? Oh my. I think I could pass through there. But to open it, I have to turn this thing. Which is locked down. So I would need something to fit in that hole. So. We're going scavenge scavenging for items again. First, we can read the butler's memo. Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, pause it if you feel the need to read it and can't. So, yeah, that's the memo, I picked up the stuff, he's lying around, let's go for more. What should we call it? Dungeon crawling. Might call it that. I guess. Yeah, there is a series of levers to pull. Yeah, I enjoy watching her backside crawling. Believe me, but she could have jumped over this, couldn't she? Anyway, alright, levers, buttons, whatever. That opens this. And... What? Good night. I'm confused again. Mm. Can push stuff too, huh? Now then. Still can't go through there. Oh yeah. Seems like it's been a while 
since I've done this. I'll go through that one first. Which I skipped. Someone would must think I'm an idiot again. Of course I am. I take this to be quite useful later. It's good I remembered to take it now. Or I have to go back for it. Yes. This opens that. It won't reset when I push this. I don't need to go there anymore. Yeah, it's it's not very complicated. I just made a mistake, really. See? I am where I'm supposed to be now. Picking up treasure goes into the treasure inventory which appears to be a shared inventory. No. It's so dark. I'm scared. No, I'm not scared. Ashley is scared. Probably. Shaking in her. Is she wearing boots? Anyway. Oh my. A rusty piece of armor. That's not scary. E. No, they're not dangerous at all. to be sliding puzzle here. There seems to be missing a piece in the middle. Though I need those need that room to slide the parts. So let's try. Right, upper right, upper middle, middle, left, lower left, lower middle, right, right, middle, upper middle, Left, left, lower left, lower middle, middle, right, lower right, and it seems to be missing a piece. What do we do with that? I have a piece. Oh my. It fits perfectly. Which opened the locked door. Which had no... What? What's with all this? All these? Rusty pieces of junk. Carrying very large axes and swords, 
which could easily hurt a small petite girl like Ashley. But of course, they are just pieces of armor. Hurt me? No, they would never hurt me because they are inanimate objects. Yeah, well, that thing looks round and nice. Let's take it. Perhaps we can use it somewhere. Another ornament. Now, oh no, the inanimate objects are moving. Run, Ashley. And I have to do some button mashing, don't I? At least it won't do that again. Here's another one. And again, I didn't die. So. There is one more, I do believe. In the corner. Oh. And someone is following me, but there's the door, which it can't open. And I'm safe. Well, as safe as anyone can be in this madhouse of a castle. Sure. Yeah. I forgot something, but I remembered it now. Oh. Well. Oh, really? That's going in there. Why? Once I climb this ladder, my brief stint controlling Ashley will be over. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I'm going back to control. That testosterone freaked Leon then. Protecting Ashley. Oh yeah. Sorry. I was a bit ahead of myself. But when I go through... With a long corridor. There is the door. Going through this will return me to Leon. Well, he has weapons at least. <laughs> 